1% on the planet, you are right there on the biggest leap of your life. Biggest leap in your journey. You're getting ready to take it. And it feels so good, but you have to digest it. You got to give yourself time. Be patient with yourself. Another confirmation, there's no way you would have attracted this high of a frequency video. This is why I'm labeling it for the 1% moving forward, because I want you to know that I'm talking to you, says the universe. I'm talking to you. There's no way you would have found this video. Doesn't matter how you found me. Doesn't matter how you discovered me on earth. You would never have attracted this content. You wouldn't even be able to digest it or understand it. You would have to be on that vibration. Same thing as wealth. Same thing as love and peace. Can we be peaceful without the beach? So the beach can come to me quickly. Now it is, is the time for you to accept the gift that you have, the gift to connect. And it's through your heart's desire of wanting to connect with the universe that has allowed you to communicate and receive. So take this reading as a blessing, as a, a receiving of a prayer that maybe you have put out into the world. And this is the universe using me as your oracle, using you as a guide to deliver the good news is what I'm hearing, to deliver the message. You, there's no way you would have found this video. What the universe is saying, I don't want to have to convince you to feel good. How can you feel the good if you feel so bad? So this is why it's very important that when we understand empathy, we, we're not empathizing so much to the point where we're falling into the hole with those we try to help. We have to be planted and grounded and, and stable in order to help another person. And so what spirit is saying is that you'll never be led to lose yourself to save another. It's not about discipline. It's not about lessons. It's about love. Huh? Lessons may come, but it's never intended to be about that. It's time to get to know the truth. After all, that's what we'll be seeking and running to. After running through every religion and every book and every teacher, what are you seeking? The truth, the light. And that is what I'm here to connect with, the most high light that comes from only love. Okay, so we're not looking for what's right or what's wrong. What's right and what's wrong belongs to the ego. This is where we get feuds. This is where we get division. When one tries or desires to be right or wrong. What we all desire is to get to the truth because where there's truth, there will be peace, there will be freedom, there will be love and unity for all. Only love. Only love, only peace, only light. That's what this world was intended to be. And I am just here to shift your perspective and raise your frequency. Okay, so with that being said, we have to desire to care more about the truth than being right or being wrong. Because where there is truth, there is justice for all. What is the truth? And that's where you're going to find the voice of the universe and the voice of God. It hits, it resonates. All right. But in order to get there, we must hear both sides. To get to the truth, we'll talk about that. So I have three different images here. I'm very excited to get into the message. I'm already breaking into the message. So basically, you guys have three different images here. Whatever image you're drawn to, listen to it. There's no such thing as picking the wrong one. Sometimes we hit the, the wrong pile trying to press two and we get one. I just roll with it. I always, I love when random acts happen because it's evidence that the universe is there. Boom. Another quote. Okay. This is literally all truth being downloaded right now. And this is what I'm feeling. So you guys could be artists, lyricists, poets, literature could be a big deal. Words could be a big deal. You are different. You are part of the 1%. You are the rare. You are the few. And you manifested this video. And I have a message for you. So there's three different images you guys can choose from. You can choose the pinned down comment below to go right to your deck. Or you can listen through whatever you are inspired to do. In the meantime, I'll see you on the other side. Peace. Card one, let's see why you were drawn to this card. I'm going to get an overall message to see what it is that the universe is trying to tell you or delivering a message directly from the universe. I'm literally an adapter at this point. Okay, you have the same ability to connect with this, with this source of light, source of energy. Some people say God, some people say the universe, some people say source, but we all know what we're talking about, the highest observer of all, the creator of all. You have the ability to connect is what I'm hearing. 
All right, so all I'm gonna be doing is I'm acting as an adapter. And I'm saying, universe, what exactly do you want this person listening right now to know the most? We have a lot of messages that wanna come through. I don't even wanna touch this deck yet. I don't think that we're ready for it. Give me a message. What exactly do you want to tell pile one, those who are drawn to the pink fuchsia number one? What do you want pile one to know? Your life is so special. Treat it with loving care. Okay, so this is a very beautiful message already coming from your higher self. Whatever you choose to connect with. All right. So this seems to be a very important message. Getting closer to what that is. Understand that we're humans and there's not a lot of that outside world that we can understand or comprehend. We're better off feeling than we are thinking, okay? So trying to think about what this all is can kind of make your brain melt, can kind of go into anxiety, all right? Can kind of go into frustration sometimes. So spirit wants you to focus on the good of your life and to start appreciating what is working out. Okay, what is working out? Understanding that you're here. You found a video with an oracle. You said somehow before this video, please give me a message. I want to know, and even though the messages are flowing, right? You have clues coming in from the universe all around you. The universe is always communicating with you. But sometimes it gets blurry and you might want an outside perspective. So then spirit sends someone like myself or someone in the grocery store, or someone when you're shopping for shoes, or a family friend. The universe is always answering your prayers. Even if you don't know what it is, it's still working, okay? Half of us don't know how electricity gets to our light bulbs, but we don't stare at the light switch every morning like, hmm, I wonder how this is gonna come. That's how much we have to let go of the how, okay? There's a lot of letting go of how. What is to come for pile one? And then we'll get into, yeah, we have strategy here. We have wish granted at the bottom, but spirit is saying the wish has already been granted, which is why you desire it in the first place, which is why you feel it in the first place. You wouldn't desire it if it wasn't yours. You desire it because it is yours. Now, for some reason, you believe or might have believed in the past, you could be getting over this, that you had to create some type of strategy. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, a strategy will only lead you to tragedy. Because we think that the universe is not answering our pray prayers because our strategy didn't work out. But we have to really surrender to a higher source of intelligence. And that's why I believe we started your reading with, you have questions about what is the universe? God, is it God, is it Jesus, is it? But it's like you've been on this spiritual journey of discovering what that is, but there is no that to it. There is no word that could describe it, right? Even love, love seems so simple of a word, but it sometimes doesn't do it justice. Like, no, I love you. We try to emphasize it. We try to bold it, capitalize it because we want to express. We want to feel. And that is why you're here. And you cannot feel in your thinking cap, with your thinking cap on. Okay, there's a lot of thinking cap going on. Strategy, all right? So you've been planning your attack for some time now, what you're gonna do, how you're gonna do this. And you know, sometimes people say God laughs at our plans. It's not that God laughs at our plans. It's our higher self in the future self is laughing and not even laughing at us. It, there's nothing. Like that, we have a lot of misconceptions of what God is, what higher self is. And I believe you are here to discover what is the truth of that. For one, for your peace, because you know there's something more that's led you here. So let's see, we're gonna go to the tarot cards and just see from, yeah, so we have the nine of pentacles. You're coming into a very independent life. You're more blessed than you think you are, is what spirit says. So now it's start, starting to start to feel good. 
So when we say be grateful, it's not about the universe saying be grateful, and I've said this before, be grateful, it's more of be grateful, be filled with greatness. What is great? We say God is good. God is good. It's the feeling. So what spirit is saying is feel good now. That's what gratitude is. Feel good now because it sucks to not feel good. It's all about feeling good or feeling bad. It's really simple. We've made it so challenging. So you're coming into independence, financial freedom. Okay. We have plaques on the wall. Some of you guys could be receiving a lot of accolades. We've got fruit and grapes in the background. Okay. So I see that there's a, there could be a body change. You getting more in tune with your body, eating more fruits, eating more seeded grapes. I don't know if you guys see my live, but I was ranting on how I'm somehow going to plant grapes, seeded grapes. And it's crazy that there's grapes here. It's like there's something about them. They're so rare to find. If you can find them, it's like you overlook so much beauty. And that's why spirits like treat it with loving care, meaning can you, can you see the love and the light in your life? Things are actually working out better than you think they are. So we have research references, deserved pay, key position, visible, save your money, guardian, investor, broker, insurance, retirement, wish granted, dreams coming true, prayers being answered. I started, I started the intro with that. You had a prayer, you had a desire, you had a question, and here I am. You want to know how, though. Card one, you're stuck on the how. It is not for you to know how. Understand, if we waited until we understood how electricity got from our light switch to our light fixture, we would waste a lot of time. There are some things we just don't understand. But that's the thing. You're trying to understand what cannot be understood. Like love, like peace. Explain those things. All you can say is it feels good. I feel tranquil. We start to give other words, but we're all saying the same thing and it leads back to feeling good. So spirit is saying your money is protected. You don't have to hoard it or save it. Remember, you are shifting into this abundant you. We have the six of wands at the bottom. Didn't plan that. Recognition, success coming in very, very, very quickly. It's, it's like you keep having this dream or these visions of where you see yourself. It could even be sitting on a front porch somewhere new on a swing. You're going there, it's destined for you. Now can you just allow it to be delivered? If you're waiting for the how, then that's where, that's where the blockage is. That's where the prevention is, is focusing so much on the how. Spirit, what else do you want them to know before we go into this? Life can be hard, and life can be wonderful. Which one will you focus on? Here we go. This is exactly what it is. And sometimes because we don't see it happening with our physical eyes, we assume nothing is happening. But once again, a lot is happening right now that we cannot see with our eyes and hear with these ears. Scientifically, there are sounds, there are colors, there's so much going on here, but we can only perceive and comprehend so much of that. And so you trying to understand everything, allow it to come to you, allow it to come to you. And I'm just feeling not to work so hard. Life does not have to be hard. Life was not intended to be hard, but because we desire free will, you have the choice of it being hard. And most people, 99% of people choose hard because they believe it's the only option. It's the only way hard work pays off. This is what we've been taught. Now you tell me if God is good and if you feel good, you're feeling God. Does it feel good when I say hard work pays off? You have to work hard for your work to pay off. That does not feel good. Most of you, you have a talent or you have a gift where others may think, wow, you're working hard. You sure are working hard, but you're so good at this. Naturally, it's who you are. It's not work to you. It's fun, it's creative, whatever this may be. So this is something that's going to be bringing you out of this lack mentality here, queen of cups. It is something you love. You gotta get into your heart space to feel this. Now is the time to focus on feeling good. What's happiness to you? 
Okay, it's crazy because on one side we have the five of pinnacles, which is lack, worry. How is this going to happen? How am I going to do this? Will this new job do that? There's so many questions, so many worry, so much worry around what finances. Look at this. You can't make it up. If that's all you're focused on, what do you think you're going to attract? What you're focused on. You're literally going to attract it, even if you say, I really don't want this. And it reminds me of this video of the guy who went to court and sued the ambulance person for saving his life when he said, I specifically tattooed DNR on my chest, do not resuscitate, and he still brought me to life. So now he's suing the ambulance guy, but it's like, you wanted it to do not resuscitate so bad, you manifested it. Because the universe does not understand no. Sometimes your no feels stronger than your yes. It's the feeling, it's the vibration behind it. So if you're saying, no, I don't want this, I don't want this, I don't want this, all the universe feels is your vibration focusing on this. And so what happens? You get the same results over and over again, okay? You're coming out of this place of needing, needing, lacking. You haven't been spending much time on what you love to do here. With the three of cups, celebration, go out, have fun. People don't understand how this is productive. But if you were an energy reader, you would understand your energy is everything. If you don't feel good, who cares about a party? If you just lost someone you loved, who cares about that nice dress you've been wanting to wear? It's like you have to feel good to receive. And what makes you feel good here is three of cups, celebration, network, communicating with other people. Queen of cups. So this is about 10 of cups. There's a lot of unfulfillment unsatisfactory that is coming through here and spirit is saying 10 of cups three of cups it's it's unfulfilled all right and let's see why this is you can see here with the ace of pentacles not sure where the opportunity is going to come from is it going to happen is it going to come spirit let's get a message for them regarding their their finances so you can be at peace but you should already know the truth and the truth is what feels good to you that is the belief you should be reaching for. What feels good to you? Floating away? Some of you guys just want to float away and get away. But the thing is, is you got to take yourself with you. So if you don't feel good, you've got to take your body with you. And you've got to take yourself with you. And sometimes yourself can be in your head. So you'd have to take that version of you with you. And so we have winds of change. But Spirit is saying something is changing very quickly and it's you, you're, you're surrendering to let what is meant to be come to you easily. There is a wish granted and dreams are coming true and it's a quest that you're getting ready to take, okay? And we also have the matrix. I haven't seen this one just yet. Revealing the truth, sacred work, real career, muse, catalyst, and possibilities. So many of you guys have been just trying to simply survive in the matrix, survive in the system. And to truly escape the matrix is more of a mentality. It is feeling good now. It's being open to what is the truth, as I mentioned in the intro. It's not about what's right or what's wrong. What is the truth here? So something is being revealed in your career, what it is that you are here to do. There's something that's going to bring you success and it's, it's being revealed to you. But if your focus is so much on lack, this is what you're going to attract. All right. And also just the how, even if you're not in a, it, it could be a lack mentality. Some of you are so used to receiving one way. You're meant to receive multiple ways. So even if you've mastered one way, you should feel good also while receiving. Let's see why the four of pentacles is here, okay? Four of pentacles is greed, afraid to spend, uh, afraid to release here, holding on because of the five of pentacles, this fear of lack, not sure where these opportunities are gonna come from. But once you shift into the wealthy version of you, I know we hear this, but now is the time to walk in it. So even with my teachings, it's like we've, some of you have been here for three to four years and I'm just feeling it's time. And if you've just gotten here, 
you're ahead of most people. If you just found this channel, you're ahead of very, you didn't have to really go through much to see the truth. It's up to you. You don't have to go through every door. Spirit will lead you to the exact one, but are you patient and still enough for it to be revealed? Because in your vibration, there's a lot of focusing on what you don't want to happen, that it's starting to happen or it becomes part of your reality because you're manifesting it. So we have the 10 of cups in reverse. Let's see why that's here first. 10 of cups is our fulfillment, ultimate emotional fulfillment. All right. Five of swords. Okay. So you're coming out of this self-defeating place. All right. Being at one with yourself. And we have ace of wands. We have a brand new opportunity that's going to be coming in here. All right. With this ace of wands, whatever this is, it's going to be turning something around for you. It's going to ignite you. It's going to inspire you. Whatever it is, it's creative. There's a lot of energy behind it. There's a lot of curiosity behind it. It is a new path. It may feel scary to you because you are not doing it for business. You're doing it because you enjoy it. See, we have to get back to this place of doing it because you enjoy it. And then after you enjoy it, Others will want to enjoy it with you. And that's where your abundance comes from. Sharing this with others, having something that you're excited to do. I'm excited to talk about this light. I'm excited to talk about this truth. Believe it or not, not everyone is. That's why you're the 1%. Not everyone is excited to hear about this. Some people are afraid of the truth, but the truth is the voice of God. You can feel it. All right. And so if you've been focused too much on this survival, it's like a fight or flight. And you're learning now how to not work. And believe me, you may not realize how bored you're actually going to be. Meaning you will have plenty of time to do everything that you're excited to do. You don't you won't even realize how much time you've actually had that you've overlooked. You won't know what to do when there's nothing on the to-do list is my point. After everything is done on the to-do list, then what would you be doing? Some people say, oh, I would go to the beach. Okay, are you going to be on the beach from today all the way until you decide to transition this earth? No. Some days you may want to be at the beach. Some days you may want to be resting. But I assure you, after you're done sleeping, after you're done at the beach, what do you desire to do? When all the money has already arrived and you don't have to worry and stress, what would you be doing? Getting comfortable with that reality because that's becoming your new life. If you're not comfortable to, to how easy and flowing this is, then you will not be able to receive all that is here for you. All right, you're already great. Your life is intended for you to be great. You're already meant to be financially stable and independent, meaning nine of pentacles. We don't have the 10 here, which means this is not dependent on another person. This is directly with your name on it, a bank with your name on it, a check with your name on it. Okay. It's not coming through a mentor and then coming to you, not coming to your parents and then coming to you, to your partner coming to you. It's coming directly to you, not from your children. It's coming directly to you is what I'm hearing. There's a sense of independence and stability that you're getting ready to walk into. You've been preparing for this. However, you are not exactly prepared for a life where you don't have to worry about money to the point where you don't have to save it. Once you saved enough money and you did all this, what would you be focusing on and what would you be doing? This is what they're trying to turn around in your life so that you could start seeing that life is actually wonderful and that your wishes are being granted. It's just you don't realize you're making wishes. When you say, I wish this would go away, you're still focused on the problem. So that's, once again, the universe does not communicate with words. If, I mean, if that were the case, it'd be nice. That's why I'm here as a translator. It's like a whole nother language and I'm translating it for you, the best of my ability to understand it from a human concept. And most of us light workers or teachers are doing just that trying to find different ways to reveal to you the truth of how easy life was intended to be for you. It's so easy. You're going to be like, wow, I spent all this time worrying when the opportunity was already here. Exactly. And so when you say I don't want or you're focused on the problem, stop talking about it. Stop talking about the problem. 
and start talking about the beauty in the, in the world that you have right now so that you can see this and shift it. Okay. So it's almost like you're, you're shifting this. You want a miracle. You want to change whatever this is in your life. And with the ace of wands, you are, you will be able to float away. You will be able to have a brand new start. You will be able to do it without having strategy or feeling like you need to protect your money or, or constantly worrying about your money. There is a life outside of that with no stress and concern that you're transitioning into because you want to feel at peace. You want to be able to sleep. You want to be able to have a vacation and vacation, not just be once or twice a year life. It was intended to be a vacation and somehow people got here created a system and people got stuck and the system is also here with these beliefs i got to work hard once i work hard it'll pay off there's an easier way and doesn't it feel good to know that there's an easier way okay i don't want to get too much in to card two but i'm definitely hearing messages coming through all right so ultimately queen of cups it's about your intuition, about your feelings, what feels good. This is the new path that you're going to take. It's the life that you're desiring at the end of the day to feel good, to feel at ease and for your wishes to come true. Any more messages regarding that? Make time to play. I can't make it up. I can't. I'm telling you. Make time to play, have fun and be free. This is what you want to do. Now, if this is what you desire in your life, you must prepare for that life. And how do you prepare for that is start thinking about fun things that you want to do. And then once you start thinking about fun things and you get excited about a specific thing, like recently, it's been rollerblading for me. And I'm like, oh, snap, this is interesting. This is fun. We don't even know what's fun anymore because we've been so focused on work, businesses, practical things, surviving. So it's like retirement. So what, what are you going to do when you retire? Start getting used to that feeling now so that it will arrive soon is what I'm hearing. Have fun, be free, make time to play. So that is what this is about. So now when you're in this frequency of playing in freedom, guess what you then attract? Opportunities that support that. Opportunities that will come in and support this lifestyle. And, you know, some people, they think if I didn't have rent, I would, I would be, it would be so nice. And it's like, no, it really wouldn't because then you wouldn't have any desire. It, we, these desires are good for us to have. The universe is paying for it, not you. And this is the truth. You're just the fountain of wealth that comes through you. Share. Okay, I'm going to be transitioning into card two because I'm starting to get messages there. All right, so... I know that you guys are pulling for more information. Like I can feel there's more you guys want to really, really know. We have the matrix revealing the truth. The truth is, is that it's easier than we've been making it. Everything, nothing is an exception. And if you can use this belief and, and anytime something gets hard, understand that is the voice of God. It's easier than you're making it. Sometimes you have to make a note of it because that is the voice of the universe. So I can only give you what I hear. It feels comforting. It gives me peace, but it is also through the voice of truth that allows that. And this, sometimes we're afraid of the truth. Uh, that, this must be card two, F a fear of the truth. But that's because of the foundation you built, the plans that you had. And if you know the truth and you realize your plans don't align, then you want to avoid the truth. But it's like, let's just follow the truth from the beginning because it's your friend. It's your friend. Later in the end, you'll be thankful that you left this person. You moved away from this friend. You moved away from this job. You have to trust something greater than yourself. And if anything, the most practical as it gets is the truth. And that can only be spoken through people who carry the presence of God. Literally, if you're speaking the truth, you are speaking the, through the vessel as God. Anyone who speaks truth, it is the voice of God and God, the universe will use anyone to deliver the message. That's why you have to be open to receiving, not just from one reader or one person, find people that are aligned with this highest truth and be open to growing more and evolving 
and seeing, okay, it, it must be easier. It's got to be easier. It's got to be because that's what's meant for you. It's ease and effortless. So many messages. All right. If you guys still want more, there's, I'm going to just jump into card two because I'm feeling very, very strong about this. Whoever you are, 10 of cups, three of cups, queen of cups. It's about your happiness. There's a lot changing in your family, a lot changing in your home. And you must choose yourself at this time is what I'm hearing card one. That's coming through. It's like you guys have so many messages. You want to connect. I can feel you pulling. And so that means it's time to connect and get to know this voice of truth more. Get comfortable with this ease of things being natural and easy and letting God in so that you can really hone in on that feeling and trust something more than. And so things may seem divided. Okay. Whether you're in it, coming out of it, or around it, because we have the Queen of Cups, we have a lot of family dynamics here. And that's because there's something more for you to see. Your soul is desiring an experience of love, peace, freedom is what I'm getting for you, card one. So everything shifting is to align you with just that. So when we say, God, I want to be free, okay, you said it, let freedom ring. And then we wonder why all the strategies we built are coming crumbling down. They were not built on freedom to begin with. And at the end of the day, we will always desire the core of our frequency, which is heaven on earth, heaven, bliss, peace, clarity, laughter, fun, play, ease, happiness, freedom, love. This is our natural habitat, heaven. So if you guys chose deck one, this is your reading. If you guys are looking for more rare readings, you guys can find them at the tarotchest.com or mentorship you can find at fly to level 11.com. So that's pretty much all I'm really doing because I realize that personal readings, they only really benefit the people involved. And I would like to benefit the world. And so that's why I'm transitioning out of doing tarot um, unless it's on the channel or unless it's with a major influencer that allows me to record it. So the whole world can benefit from that one conversation. So I'm looking more towards helping the world, uplifting the world, uplifting the frequency. And so that may be you as well. All right, we're going to move on to card two. Card two, I already have a message for you at the bottom of the deck. Stop giving away your power right now. What has your inner voice been asking you to do? I'm not surprised if you guys were attracted to card two. It is all about the blue, speaking up, throat chakra, all right? So something about your inner voice speaking up. What do you want? Choosing yourself is the next chapter all the way around. And I said something very pivotal in the intro. The universe will not put you in a situation where you have to empathize with someone and where they are to the point where you are now in that energy. It's like losing your happiness to save them. It'll never be that way. It'll always be aligned. The universe is that great. God is really good. Like we don't realize the word good. We just overlook words. That's why they're pointless. I say God is good. It's like, okay, cool. No, God is literally good. Anytime you feel good, it's God. If you feel bad, it's not God. Okay, but what if your ego feels bad about a truth that was revealed? Yes, that's because you have spent most of your time creating based on what you thought was true. And anything that's not true will always come down to the foundational ground. It'll always have to be rebuilt. Anything that is not grounded on truth will always have to be rebuilt truth do you really love it or do you love getting paid to do it there's a difference what you love you do not have to get paid for you just do it because you enjoy it remember when you were a little kid and you just built tents or maybe you played at the playground you weren't thinking hmm am i gonna make money if i go no so there's something here about aligning. Everything will feel good and all will work out if it's aligned. Okay, so eight of cups is still peeking through at the bottom. So yes, you will be walking away. Walking away. Let's see, what is it that you're walking away from? 
There's something at the bottom of this deck as well that's sticking out. Take responsibility for your choices. This is your time to live it, own it. So right now, it, the ball is in your court is what Spirit is saying. It says, you have such a bright light inside. Stop dimming it. Look at this, nine of wands, wounded warrior. So now it is time to walk away from what doesn't feel good. You know, it would be so simple if we just didn't complicate things. You could be an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, because we do have the blue. We do have swords. You don't have to be, okay? But we do have fire here too, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And slow down. Let the answers be delivered to you. Be still is what I'm hearing. It's like we think if we're not moving, nothing is getting done. Productivity, all this is programmable. These are all programs. And we have to now release them. How do we know? It doesn't feel good. We know that game, if you're getting hot, if you're getting cold, okay, if it feels bad, you're getting really cold. Really cold from what? Away from the path you truly desire, whether you're aware of it or you're waiting for that to be revealed, you should trust that if you definitely don't know what that is, you should be trusting your higher self even more. That's a confirmation that you should be trusting yourself even more if you don't know what it is, okay? Because that means that you would have to be open to surrendering your intellect for a greater knowing, listen, I don't even know what I want, but I trust that you do. That requires a very deep relationship with your intuition and the universe, all right? So you can trust, let alone trust in people, trust issues with people. Now I'm asking you to trust something that you cannot see physically, you cannot hear with your ears, and you cannot touch it. So how do you know it's communicating with you? Through your feelings. And right now, it, there's a lot of feeling bad, bad feelings that you've had to walk away from. Even what you're consuming on social media, I don't care what it is. If it feels bad, don't consume it. Do not consume it. Some people start to empathize. Well, that means I don't care. That's not true. You have to care about you more. How can you pour from an empty cup? How can you be happy if you're not happy? You got to be happy to then help people out of it, which is why God's universe is saying, if you have to lose yourself to save another, this is not aligned. You would not have to lose yourself. God, universe loves you and the other person and whatever it is too much for you to, to have to sacrifice yourself to feel some of you sacrificing your vibration to feel bad and empathize with others. There's a balance, right? I want to understand your perspective without having to fall in the hole with you because if we're both in the hole, who's going to get us out? It's not that you're a bad person if you choose yourself. There's a lot of feelings coming up right now. Well, okay, if I do this, I do this. All, a lot of this has been taught. So spirit saying, let's make it simple for card two. Listen, if it feels good, you know it's me. If it feels bad, it's not me. Which is why division doesn't feel good. Division doesn't feel good. So it's not that you don't care. If that's the case, that's, that's emotional manipulation. I got to call it out. You don't care if you don't. That's not true. You know your heart. I don't even know you hell, and I know you care enough. Even if you're a logical person, I know you care. So it's not that you don't care, but at the end of the day, you have to care more about yourself because then you can help others. But if you don't care about yourself and you compromise that by feeling bad with the other, you're just in the same hole. It's like lack cannot cure lack and poorness cannot cure poorness. Unhealthiness cannot be unhealthy. I cannot help you being unhealthy if I choose to empathize with feeling, oh, okay, I can see the emotional eating. Yeah, I can understand it. I am open and I love you enough to be open to your perspective, but not enough to lose my direction. Balance, card two. Moderation, you could be a Sagittarius. Temperance might come up. 
balance, okay? Eight, nine of swords. Balance, slow down, all right? So the nine of wands is the wounded warrior. Tell me why this is here. Eight of swords, because there's some things you have to free yourself from mentally. This is a mental thing. Being at one with yourself, I've been speaking a lot about this. We say, our self is our greatest enemy. No, I, I assure you, you do not want that reality where your greatest enemy is yourself. You want your greatest cheerleader, your greatest supporter, your greatest friend to be yourself. And therefore, you can be honest with yourself. This is deep. Only 1% could be here on this video today. It's in your head. It's in your mind. Swords. Okay, this is about freeing yourself from disbeliefs, fears, and doubts. Well, how will this work? And how would it? How? You may not see how. Like I said, there's many things that happen around us and we don't know how the hell they happen, but they're still happening. We trust the universe enough to bring up the sun every damn day. <laughs> it's like, we have to trust. We have to trust in that feeling that you're getting, that feeling that says, no, we don't want to be here anymore. We don't want to do this anymore. A lot of you have been compromising with yourself. All right, so nine of wands, you've been fighting this mental battle, okay? And some of you, it's just getting to a place of peace so you can see the world in harmony, see unity, see it in your imagination, focus on feeling good. There's a way to speak up, but still feel good. But when it becomes anger, when it becomes attacking others, when it becomes losing myself to save you, that is not aligned because it doesn't feel good. This is your compass going into this next journey in your spiritual journey. Does it feel good? If it doesn't, you got a lot of, and people are like, what can I work on? What should I do next? What's the next step? The next step is to cut out and walk away from what doesn't feel good and what feels overwhelming. But you have to be honest with yourself. This requires honesty. This is overwhelming to me, but I don't know how to get out of it. Okay, spirit, what do you want them to know about this? Okay, we have a card flipped over. Speculation, acquire, compound, fun. So securing your future. So we have confidence at the very bottom as well. Walk your talk, bold action, happy at work, meaningful, rich, progress, slow but steady, healing money blocks. Okay, so healing money blocks is here. All through your confidence, you have prospects and progress. So you have other people, other better. It's a win-win situation. This has been the latest trend here. Even if it's either it's that person or it's better. It's a win-win situation. So if it's not this job, if it's not this person, then that means there's better and more prospects. And that's what the universe wants you to know. Stop being so limited to thinking it's got to be exactly this way. You only limit yourself, right, from receiving. Universe's desire is to give you all of your wishes and your dreams and your desires. This is true. The universe is literally like a holographic genie. Wishes are being granted, but we don't know how to make wishes. Because what your vibration is focused on and in constantly is what you're going to attract into your life. So if it's worry, expect to open your emails and find things that are going to contribute to that energy. You are the magnet. So you must shift your energy and spirit is saying right now you're being open to receive medicine. Okay, so there's a lot of healing that's coming through in your life so you can feel so you can walk away healing is also acceptance healing is a the most truthful way to say it. it's accept the true path delusional is when we know it's not true and we try to force it to be you know you've seen them red flags but you want to pretend like you didn't we all we've all been there we're he, we're still in the human body having this spiritual experience but this is giving your power away as soon as you answer that phone and someone's in a low vibration and you know every time you talk to them, they're just going to pour on you for hours about what's going on. 
So now's the time to accept what is not aligned and see that as your sign versus trying to force anything that doesn't feel good, doesn't matter what it is, what you eat, what you watch, what you consume, who you talk to, who you're in a relationship with, getting married, going to school. It doesn't matter, but we try to make expectations. If we do that, you're going to confuse yourself. You'll be in your head. It either feels good or it doesn't. And you have to be honest. This is what it's taking for you to get out of this place. Why do you think 99% say, nah, I'm cool. I'll settle. You know, we just had a little mishap. You know, the job's not that bad. You know, we get free lunches on Friday. I did it too. Hell, even when I try to leave, they tried to send me to an all paid expense marketing tour to meet Michelle Obama. Like, and I still declined because no matter it, if it wasn't that, it would be something else and something else to try to convince me that it's worth it. If I don't feel good, it's not worth it. And once you apply this to what you're eating, who you're talking to, who you're around, oh, 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 blessings, blessings, blessings. Because now you're saying, er, and the universe is saying, oh, okay, they're sending that back. They're, send, they're not answering. Okay, let's send good. Let's send good. You are what you attract. Eight of cups here. I was going to say why. This is usually a breakup card, moving away. But I always say moving towards. There's a lot of cups here that are empty that you're walking away from. But at the bottom, we have justice, Libra energy. So you're going to get justice, meaning spirit is saying you will be replenished. And this is where you have to trust replenishment, medicine, nourishment. This is what I'm hearing for you. Start to feel good in your body, in your mind, in your spirit. Feel good. That's it. It's so simple, but we overcomplicate it. All right, spirit. Tell me why, what are they walking away from? Okay, so this could be court, divorce, law, justice, anything that has to do with, I mean, some of you guys could be, some of you guys could be moving. You don't have to be. I see that you're still in a space right now with the nine of wands. So let's see, what is it that you're walking away from? Eight of cups. We have eight cups here. Okay. We have three of wands. Some of you are unsure of the direction here. Okay. Unsure of the path with the three of wands, but the high priestess is here and the magician is in the ver reverse. Okay, so you have a very strong gift of intuition. You're coming out as the high priestess. So your perfect path is going to be guided by the priest version of you. And what is that version? It's the version that talks to yourself. It's the version that's like, yo, be patient. Be patient. It's also got to be the version that loves on yourself. You got to give yourself grace. This is new to yourself. This is yourself. I keep saying this yourself. You are not yourself. Yourself belongs to you. Yourself, just like your phone. You don't become your phone once you're holding it. It's your phone, just like yourself. The tarotchest.com, if you guys want to get deeper into understanding that, it's self. You got to talk to yourself. Hey, it's okay. Let it go. Just trust if it's easy and not if it's natural and easy, it's meant for me. If it's natural and easy, it's meant for me. If it's not natural and easy, that must mean it's not meant for me. Oops, this is not easy, not meant for me. This is not easy, not meant for me. You have to find what feels better about some of the situations that you think are helpless. Because some of you are falling into the trap of thinking it's a helpless situation. But the high priestess is here to remind you of who you are. The high priestess is all also going to be the version of yourself that's honest with yourself. Do you really like this? Do you really like going to the gym? And if you don't, that's okay. Don't beat yourself up to force, oh, yeah, I got to go to the gym today. I'm telling you, we don't listen to ourselves. Ourself is saying we don't want to go to the gym. Now, that's where you have to get to know yourself. And you're going to realize it's a lot of compromising. It's like, okay, you don't want to go to the gym, but what movement do you do like? 
you can't see my trampoline, but I just got like a little trampoline back there. Because they say, NASA says that 10 minutes of rebounding on that thing is like 33 minutes of running. So I had to find what was exciting. And to me, sightseeing is exciting. And me running allows me to do that. So I had to figure out myself, what do I enjoy doing? Rollerblading, swimming, do those things. And actively, you will be in, in a better position in your body physically is what I'm getting. All right, so it's like we have to listen to ourselves. Instead, we're beating ourselves up. Come on, you know, we gotta go to the gym. Don't eat that. It's like we gotta love ourselves. We gotta love ourselves. That's loving yourself. Okay, cool. You don't wanna go to the gym? Like, I'm realizing that unless you wanna be in the gym every day or three days out of a week, it's a lifestyle, then that's probably not for you. And that's okay. Find what is, it might be volleyball, it might be pickleball. Find activities that you enjoy and then you're in unity and harmony with yourself because you're feeling good and you're feeling in yourself is having a blast and feeling good. I actually think that's what card three is about, okay? After we get out of this, it's like we're, whew, we gotta breathe again and have fun again. But before I can get to card three, which is about having fun, we got to get through all of this. We have to see the light. We have to be able to see, okay? So once again, nine of wands, some of us are overexerting ourselves, doing things we think we like, but we're really doing it because there's results at the end or there's money to be paid at the end. And that's eventually you'll realize that's not enough to motivate you anymore. It's not enough to motivate you to do it or go because money isn't really a motivator for you. Freedom, peace, and happiness is. Let's see what else is here for you coming before we go to card three. What else, what is in store for them that they're moving towards options? Okay, so once again with the, the 10, we have karmic justice. So you're clearing a lot of karma. So what is karma? It's just, once again, things you sowed a while ago, you thought were aligned with the truth. That's why if you just follow the truth from the jump, you will not have to go through any of it. Okay, I... You know, I don't really share much of this, but I watch a lot of dating shows and I just see that people see the red flags and they still expect something different. And it's like those red flags is the universe saying, no, this isn't aligned. This isn't aligned. This isn't aligned. And then we wonder why it doesn't work out. It was never aligned. The universe never lets us go in blindfolded. That's not God in the universe. It's unconditional love. There is some communication. But if you don't want to accept it and you keep doing it, accepting a different, trying to get a different result, then this is where the karma is sowed, right? So you have a job change, a move. So some of you guys do have a move. There's there's options, and how do you know what the right option is? Let me just help you guys answer that question across the board. Guess what? It'll feel good. Feeling good is a sign that God is communicating with me. When I feel good, I know it's God. Now, there's a difference between feeling good and then your ego feeling bad. All right, so your ego may feel bad towards hearing some of the truths that are going to be revealed like dang but once again you already knew take responsibility and the sooner you can do that the sooner you realize oh if that's the case then I have the power exactly so you are going to be receiving justice which is more than what you've ever received whether it's in a partner, a friendship, a work situation, it's more than you've ever received. So you're going to have options in the one that feels good. Now, one could feel good, but then it feels scary. It only feels scary once the thoughts start to come in, which is why you must be centered with yourself. So your thoughts are not like, but what if, what if, what if we get there? It's like you only allowed yourself to feel good for 10 seconds. Like, oh yeah, that feels good. I'd love to. And you're, but... It's a very quick switch up. And that's because your mind, our minds have been programmed sometimes to think the worst. So you must have confidence in who you are and taking this bold action 
Okay, we have justice, law, balance, mediator. So yeah, balance, moderation. We have magician finally in the upright at the bottom. So the you walking in your power makes you the magician. Spirit is saying the choice is yours in both. And if it's aligned with your truth, truth, feeling good to you, it will be successful. You don't have to go learn how to do whatever this is. You already know how to do it. Now, there may be things that you're interested in getting better because you're excited to know more, but there's a fine line between thinking you have to do something to be someone. You are already, a version of you is already aligned with success and it is already confident and is already living this life that you desire. Let's get a clue on what that is. What is this life that you're going towards with the options? Okay, there you go. New heights, ladder of success, steady, climb, solid ground. I was just at solid ground with the foundation. Why? Because it's built on truth. I actually love this. If I did not love sharing this message, I would not be here still. Now, am I here as often? No, because there's something I love even more, and that's creating music, and that's what I've been focused on. So now with the new heights and the ladder of success, we have distractions here. We have independent, go your own way, unique path, self-starter, own business, freelance, and boss. So we'll just take this all as a confirmation here that you are soaring to new heights. All right. So you're going to be a self-starter. This is going to be built on something that you love, dedicated to achievement at the very bottom. We have top dog and effort resolve. Problems are being resolved. Spirit is saying to use your inner voice, but listen. Listen, listen to yourself. What do you love doing? Do you love to write? Do you love to do this? Honor what you love. Do not judge what you love. This self was given to you and this self has amazing talents and gifts and they're ready to be unlocked and they're ready to be expressed. And that's what spirit is revealing to you. But in order for you to feel all of this, we have the eight of swords. You must come out of this mentality here. Anytime you are thinking Thinking does not come from God. That's a very limited translation. Even now, I'm maybe thinking four to five percent because I have to speak the language and I have to translate this. But everything is what I'm feeling, whether it's the cards, whether it's the certain signs that I'm getting, the symbolism, the independence, the words are really standing out to me. The magician, the feeling, the manner, the I'm taking a lot into consideration when I'm translating this message to you. So with that being said, it's not a thinking thing. When you're in the zone, you're not thinking. There's nothing to think about you. That's why we call it in the zone. So some of you guys could be athletes. Some of you could be going into school, wanting to be. You really have to be honest with yourself. You will save yourself life, a lifetime of suffering and years of what you don't wanna do if you just from the very beginning ask yourself and honor what yourself says. Do you love doing this? And if you don't, just move away from it. One thing at a time. This is why I say be patient with yourself. One thing at a time. These are new changes. You being independent, not needing anyone, and, and just being successful doing something you love, that seems like a wish come true. And that's what's here for you. So last card message directly from spirit we have confidence what is all this about never forget how resilient you are you always bounce back trust yourself always trust others once they've earned it okay i think we've talked about this one now earning it is more so of observing it once you can observe that this person is following the truth it will be much easier for you to trust them because they trust themselves and they trust something also that is true so they are following the truth therefore they are trustworthy they're truthful people and it all goes back to the truth so trust yourself means be honest with yourself and trust what yourself is telling you in this time the tarotchest.com if you guys are looking for more deep rare readings in the meantime i'm moving on all right, finally, card three, it's about fun. So if you guys are getting here for the first time, this tells me that you are way ahead of most people. OK, 
Okay, so if this is your first card, doesn't matter if you're just now getting here, if you listen to the other ones, you already know what you're coming out of. This is where everyone desires to be. You are in a space where everyone desires to be. We have the six of cups already poking out, already going along with what I was saying. Coming out of card two, I felt like fun was about card three. Fun and there's so much fire, there's so much freedom, there's so much happiness that you're walking into, that you're moving into. And many, many people want to be and wish to be where you are. So don't overlook that. You've made it. It's about happiness. Also, your inner child is coming out, doing more things that are fun, um, getting, you know, some people wake up worried, stressed about things, whereas you're learning to wake up where you're not worried, you're not stressed, and you're like, hmm, what can I do today? I can do this, I can do this. It's like a whole new world for you. So you're able to see things from a childlike perspective, which most people aren't. So let's just see what the universe wants you to know. All right, I'm also hearing rest resting we will do our body more justice resting than going to the gym i know this is crazy but these new discoveries of development that even you are going through with your wellness with your health with feeling good it's easier than we're making it and when we give our body rest we allow it to do what it's already naturally meant to do and that's pretty much everything Okay, so we have the six of cups. Let's see, spirit, what do you want card three to know? Open your heart, not just a little, all the way and let the love flow in. So now this is a new world. Focusing on what I want to do for fun rather than worrying or wondering what's next on my to-do list. I've never been in a world like this before where there's no stress and no worry and everything's working out smoothly, I must have to open my heart to receive more, to receive more love, to receive more ease, to receive more fun, to receive more peace, okay? So everything that you desire, it's like opening your heart and trusting that it's for you also. Stop caring what they think. This is your life to love and live. When you find something that excites you, go all in and enjoy the ride. You have the power to create the life you love. Remember that. So card three, once again, you are ahead of most people, meaning you've discovered already the universe. Um, you're at a place where you've stopped thinking and stopped caring what others think. And it's, it's a freeing feeling to be able to be yourself. It's, it takes bravery to be yourself, to be authentic and not care what others think. So you're very inspiring. Uh, a lot of people are going to be very admired by you. I'm getting a lot of six of wands energy. So you could have been led to card one. If you were, you're coming out of that. If you're coming from card one, this is where you're headed and this is where you're going. So when you find something that excites you, bingo, you've hit the jackpot. You found one of the most precious gold, rare gold gems within yourself possible when you know what excites you. What excites you is you plugging into source and giving you that electricity. It's a confirmation that this is what you're meant to do. Whatever that is, that is what you are meant to do. And you have the power to receive the life you love. So creating is really just accepting and choosing which life do you wanna live because it's already created for you. And if you don't know how, then you might go to card one after this because how is what we are letting go of. It's not for us to know how. And just because we don't know how doesn't mean it's not happening or working out. There's many things, like I said, around us and we don't know how. You don't know how you may have found this video, but it found you. So everything is perfectly aligned. You're meant to hear this message exactly for this time. And spirit wants you to open your heart to receiving more. It's not too good to be true. Okay, seven of cups. There are many different blessings that are coming your way is what I'm getting. It's a, it's a change, okay? It is a change in your, it could be a change in your status. It could be a change in your wardrobe, a change in your body, a change in your thinking. But with the seven of cups, whatever your imagination is giving you at this time, it's revealing to you the destination. And therefore, you can enjoy the journey when you already know the destination, but some people lack peace of mind because they think they don't know where they're going. If you want to know, your imagination will show you this. Temperance, absolutely. Part man, part woman, all angel. 
one foot in the water, one foot on the land. So you are now at the very pinnacle. And it's interesting because one foot is in, one foot is out. Hannah Montana, that's what it's feeling like. Living one life here, when living another life here. And you are not like the rest, okay? You're coming up as an earth angel. This is someone who is compassionate. This is someone who wants to know the truth of who they are. This is someone who wants to shine bright. And this is the thing, even if you don't have the desire to be in the spotlight, your light will shine. Knight of Wands and Strength. Okay, so we have Leo and Sagittarius on the board. And I want to pull one more card. Knight of Wands, something's coming rushing in that you are coming into reunion with and it could be your tribe okay it's a new job is work is play wild craft conquer fears ambition job hunting play so now you're getting into a space where you are creating and sharing what can i create what can i share with others to receive and the highest frequency you can share is joy i'm sharing and we have lots of distractions i'm sharing enlightenment which is one of the highest frequencies. And therefore, everyone I attract, that's how I know who you are. There's no way I could radiate this truth and you not find it because this is who you are. So Knight of Wands, strike out. Let's see what these others are. Okay, so you have a relationship coming in as well. Whether you're in a relationship or not, you have someone coming in who matches your frequency. You have a soulmate coming in. So I'm going to let you take this how it resonates. Those of you who are single, you have had the strength card out here. You've been waiting for the right one is what I'm hearing, or you're waiting to feel aligned. You could be very secure within yourself at this point. I'm seeing that something is coming in very, very quickly. It's an emotional fulfilling offer with the ace of cups. It's a cup here, but we also have the six of cups. So this tells me tribe, family, fun, vacations, um, desires coming in, everything is working out perfectly, but it's because of how you feel. How you feel is an indicator of why you're attracting all of this. We even have go all in and enjoy the ride right on top of that. So you guys could be into cars. Um, you don't have to be, but cars could be very significant. You could be getting your dream car here very soon. Um, something you've, a lot of things are coming in. You have a lot of blessings that have been on hold. Seven of Cups, it's not just one thing coming in. It's like you have to have the strength to receive this all. It's overwhelming um, how much you're going to be receiving with the Page of Pentacles. So you have, an, you have something picking up slowly with your career here with the Page of Pentacles. Let's get some information on that. Answers. Keys to the kingdom. Calls, interviews, new work, technology, and money solutions. All right, so answers are coming in here. Answers, and I'm hearing you hold the key to many different dimensions, exploring different worlds, many jobs and skills and spirit work, travel and worldly and wealth. So once again, as I've been saying on the tarotchest.com, if you guys are looking for those videos, in the career reading, I talk about how it's not a career in the aspect of what we think it is. Your desires will show you what career path mirrors that. But if you don't know your desires or you're not honest with your desires, then you will not understand the path that aligns with those desires. Because at the end of the day, the right career for you will align with the desires of your heart, not the other way around, because then the career limits your desires. And that's where you're coming out of. So you go to, the, there's no occupation I can give you because of who you are. It's spiritual work. It's different dimensions. It's pulling things from a different place, um, it's, it, it's intriguing to people. So even if you write, if you paint, whatever you do, it, even if you're in fashion, it doesn't really matter what you're into, people are going to be into it too because it's, it's out of this dimension. You don't live that much in the 3D. So it's not really boring, your perspective. You, so I can't really give you a job, it's, it's, it's like spiritual work. You know, what is this occupation? I don't even know what to call myself at this point. I don't know. So I just say I'm an oracle, but I'm not sure if companies are looking for oracles because it's such a spiritual work. So you're meant to travel. You're meant to be doing something worldly. So you'll be connecting with people all around the world, international, because of what you know is what I'm hearing, what you know and where you go. 
So that's something too that's very, 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 very potent here. We have open window, golden opportunity, and we have unicorn. So you're not like everyone else. Once again, that's why I said, look at all of the difference if you guys are coming from another deck. Just look at these cards. We've got the Knight of Wands, something moving in passionately. The Knights represent movement, and we have it on the Wands, which is about energy, inspiration, flow, creativity. You're becoming one with self. Being true to who you are is what this whole journey has been about, and now you're aligning more with yourself than ever. Others will see you as an angel. And angels belong in heaven just like fishes belong in the ocean. So you belong in a place of freedom. And I'm hearing you are going to sustain this energy for a long time, whereas some people can only have fun one day out of the year on holidays or birthdays. Every day, can, how much open can you open your heart for it to feel like your birthday once a week? Let's just do once a week. We won't say every day just yet, because that's so much blessings, so many blessings. I don't know if I'm ready for that. Because ready for that means, okay, move, do this, release that, share this, share myself with people, not care about what people think. And I have these ideas and this truth that comes to me, what are people going to think? That's why I said at the very beginning that the amount of sub subscribers that this channel has is pure evidence of the amount of people who desire to connect with the truth and the highest frequency. And the truth is, is that you have a unique perspective. That's what people will say. They will say, oh, that's a unique perspective. But it's just the truth. 99% of people will say, that's a unique perspective. So you have something 99% of people don't. And that's the key, which is the light, this truth. You know all of this. Now it's how do you desire to share it? You have to get to, to know yourself, and that's what you've been doing. Getting to know yourself so that you can be at one where you're not one and one foot over here and one foot over here. You go to work and you have to turn this off. Where can you turn this all the way up? So you're a miracle worker, money magic, dream come true, odd job. So we're searching for a needle in a haystack because it's, it's not a job or an occupation that exists. It's one that's being created for you that allows you to receive everything that you're desiring. In this part, I see a lover on the same frequency here, I see a lot of attire changing, okay? So jewelry, um, just being being a owner of ancient things, like there's some things that maybe you're into that you're just now discovering, and I'm getting just, it could be even stones, crystals, fossils, things that you wanna collect around the world, whatever it may be, I just see that there are, these little things are exciting. And as excited as we are to learn other people, why not be that excited about getting to learn yourself? Every new inspiration is confirmation. So once you know the destination, you can enjoy the journey because you know where you're going. And where you're going is you will live a life that is out of this world. You will inspire many people. Out of this world sometimes could be having fun for no reason, by the way. They're like, oh, they're in their own world. They're dancing in the middle of the grocery store. It's not always physical. And I believe that's what you've been learning too. It's a feeling. It's a frequency. So you have tribe coming in, six of cups, soulmates, being surrounded by people who are also earth angels. So when I say earth angels, I've been saying this a lot on flytolevel11.com. You guys can find that mentorship. Earth angels are here to raise the vibration of the world and they naturally carry peace. They desire peace. They desire freedom. They desire to be in love. They desire to share love. They desire to have fun. They desire to explore. They're kind-hearted. They're giving. They're compassionate. They're out of this world. They're ethereal, meaning they connect with the, the ancient world, the ancestor world, the spiritual world. Therefore, they're some of our greatest inventors. They're some of our greater greatest writers, directors, songwriters, artists are in this vibration. And your natural habitat is heaven. And that's where you're moving towards, a place that feels like bliss, a place that feels like home, people that feel like family. So it's a new life. The universe is literally coming down with this cup, giving you an entirely new life. Okay, we have this at the bottom, let's see. 
Remember that it's okay to be happy. Really, it is. So, uh, yeah, if you're questioning that, you might be going between one and uh, two and three because I talked about the universe wouldn't put you in a situation where you're empathizing with someone unhappy enough for you to now feel unhappy because now we have two people unhappy versus you staying in that vibration of happiness and raising their frequency when they're open. Some people don't want to be happy. And I know that's crazy to think about, but some people want to feel sad because we are here to feel. And you have a choice whether it's going to be sadness or happiness. You are making that decision. It's all in your power. And that's why we have to accept responsibility. So I'm getting a lot of you coming from card two because that's what we talked about there. Okay. All right. You don't want to regret anything. Um, so the magician is at the bottom. Let's see if there's anything here for anything else here for card three. Why are they being led here? Card three, if they're here, give me something about card three. Eight of cups somehow got back in here. Eight of cups. I don't even know how this got back in here. Okay. So spirit is saying now is the time to walk away from anything that doesn't feel good. Go to deck two if you guys want to hear a deeper message about that. Ten of wands, letting go. So some of you are shifting into this vibration. Okay. So while those, most of you that are here choosing this first, this is where you are. And then we have a group of you who are coming to this space. So it's interesting because card two, you guys are peeking through here. When I say you're not walking away, but you're walking towards, this is what you're walking towards. Everything is good. All contrast, even if it's bad, redirects me always back to good. And we look back and we say, I'm thankful for that one moment because if it wasn't for that darkness, I wouldn't have found my light. Sometimes it has to be so dark for us to see that little beam of light. And that's up to us to decide. If the universe is, I'm teaching you a lesson. These are, bad, these are parenting methods that we've picked up. Teaching a lesson. Lesson doesn't even feel good to say. So if it feels good, it's God. And if it doesn't feel good, it's not. And that doesn't feel good. So you become confident in this truth of knowing that it's all good. All of it is good. And sometimes that could be hard to accept with your heart so open. Like, all is good, even this not working out, even that, because then that means there's better. We have to trust that the universe knows our heart sometimes more than us because we're in the way of ourselves. Okay, we have the seven of pentacles. So this is going to be coming in fairly quickly here. Okay, so this isn't something that you've, you've been patient for a while. Okay, the queen of wands, but this is something you're a creator, you're very passionate, and somehow the nine of wands got in here too. So you guys are definitely moving towards this. This is the energy and the frequency that you're desiring is to be able to choose the life that you love. And you have the power to do that, Spirit is saying. So now is opening your heart to receiving it. Most of us think that we have to make this happen. It's not the case. We're in the way because we're not receiving. It's already here for you to receive, but when you limit the way you're going to receive it, you can only go to so many places, right? We started this reading in a very high frequency, and now we're back in this energy. It's very quickly that you can go from feeling happy and upbeat and dancing and having a really good time. Life is amazing. You're alive. You're aware than most people. You know it's easy. Like, you know too many truths to settle for less than happiness and freedom and peace. And so... True healing is true acceptance, and that's what you've been going through. And so with the Queen of Wands, Spirit is saying, I want to know why the Queen of Wands is here. This would be creator energy. You're on top of the Knight of Wands. What are they creating? Depths. It's under the surface. More to find. It's not obvious. It's a deep dive. It's true value and worth. So whatever it is, it is your true self. Okay, you could be connected to mermaids. You could be connected to the ocean. You could be connected to space. Whatever you're connected to and excited, I encourage you to put up sticky notes or write down everything that excites you and be honest with yourself. And this is what you're here to do. Whatever is on that list is what you're here to do. But now it's about accepting it, diving deeper. Some of you think or thought you knew what you liked, liked to do. But this isn't about liking. This is about love. This is about something that you're deeply obsessed 
with. Okay, so you might watch a lot of food videos. Like, what are you obsessed with in a good way? Obsession is only bad if it's bad, but obsession is good if it's good. Whatever you're obsessed with, if it's love, that's what you're here to do. Now, someone who actually loves money would love different currencies. They would love money because of the smell of it, because of the design of it, not because what it gets them. It's like, oh, I really want this money. And then the next hour you give it away. You didn't want it. You wanted what it could do for you. And this is that mentality is bringing divisions in relationships. You think you love them, but you just love that they provide stability or, you know, we see this all the time. But it's like, this is where honesty is required. Are you being honest with yourself? When you're being honest with yourself, you're, you love yourself when you're honest with yourself. You save yourself a lot of suffering and pain. So also being honest with yourself about how brilliant you are and, and who you are and the value that you have to offer. So you're still understanding how you're an angel on earth. How am I someone who desires, you desire for the world to be a better place. You're moved through inspiration. You desire to meet people who are pure and honest and truthful. And you also desire to do that as well. So let's see what the last messages are. You're too amazing to follow everyone else. Spirit is saying, so you are a trendsetter. You will go first. You may not see many people doing this, which is why it seems a little bit scary at first, but that's why you're considered a pioneer. That's why you're in considered to be inspirational, but you also know this truth that 99% do not. And that is that whatever you're imagining and connecting with your desires, they're meant for you. You must be open to accepting this because it sometimes feels too good to be true. What's coming next? The high priestess somehow got back in here. Okay. So you are very connected just as card two is. So many of you are coming from card two. So yes, you are a unicorn. You maybe have been a lone wolf by yourself. Now you're getting ready to open your heart to doing what? Meeting the version of you that you have become or are becoming. This version of you is more authentic. This version of you is more aware. This version of you is choosing yourself. This version of you desires to be in love, desires to share light, have fun, share this with the world. Let them know the truth of why we're here in the first place. So the seven of pentacles coming out in reverse, let's just get clarity on that. Because this would be patience, but that was in reverse. So why is this patient? The eight of pentacles, it's not time yet, but we have this at the bottom. You have a decision to make, to move away. Okay, because some things may be giving you money, but they may be also giving you a headache, okay? And it wouldn't be such, it would be perfectly aligned. If it's meant for me, it'll be natural and easy. If it's meant for me, it'll come to me with ease. Very simple. So until you move out of how you're used to receiving and be open to receiving from multiple places anywhere, you, the more you don't know, the more that's possible. <laughs> like you could be an artist, but I'm just definitely feeling like that's the thing. When we know what door it's coming from us as humans, we tend to just look at the door all day. They said it's going to happen in this month. I'm waiting by this door whole time. This door requires much more of a different route. The universe from a higher perspective says, if they were just open their heart and be open to all doors, I would have already delivered it through a different route. So you know how you have those same desires you think about on your board all day, 24 seven. Now feel what it would be like to already have them move on from those desires as if they're already going to come, you know, they're going to come whatever they are. It's I'm certain. And this is what I was saying in my last video. I was literally saying, if I was not certain about this truth, I would not get sleep at night. I'd be like, I hope card two and I hope card three's dreams come true because I just told them I know the truth. I would not be here telling you it all works out. It's just your plan may not work out. Your plan. And so, but the plan is an ultimate plan where everyone benefits, everyone's happy. So sometimes we don't know that plan because it's 
too challenging us for us to see past one door. So we have to be patient with ourselves and allowing whatever it is that we see to be delivered. Now you have a choice that you're going to have to make. Whatever you're choosing, we have the eight of pentacles. There's more to learn about this path. You might get inspired. Okay. We have art pieces here. You may be inspired. Now here's the thing. Do what you love to do obsessively and share it. Allow abundance to come. That's it. It's going to require a different mindset so that you can become the queen of pentacles because how the queen of pentacles thinks is she has more than enough. She does many things and she's able to be very independent on her own. She nurtures a lot of the things you guys could be into plants. You guys could be into flowers, whatever it is. I'm telling you, whatever your desire is, it's driving you right to success. Not everyone has that desire. Not everyone is obsessed about flowers as you are, for those of you who are obsessed about flowers, or love, or fairy tales. And I can see this. Well, write the book. Write the book you wish to live. Write the song you wish to experience. Write the movie you desire to experience. You're doing it. But your creations, card three, are meant to come to life. And that's something you guys may have heard me say a lot lately. So... This is a pretty deep message, and I'm hoping that you guys found clarity in where you're going. We're going to leave it with one last message for this reading, and we're going to close. Universe, anything else to close this reading? Okay, we'll take this one. Find ways to lighten up and not take everything so seriously. Is that the universe talking to me? As a Capricorn, I get it. All right, so... You guys could definitely be earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We are, sometimes we have to lighten up and have more fun. And most people don't think about fun until after retirement. And even then, do you feel good? It's so much more than that. So spirit is saying now is the time to have fun. This is where your best creations will come from is when you're having fun. And so lighten up and do something that keeps you in that frequency so that solutions can continue to come. The right people can continue to come, but ultimately you are on the right path. So if you guys are here, can't wait to see you guys in the next video and shout out to my tribe. If you guys are here, lastly, if you're in Houston, Texas, definitely reach out because you could definitely be a part of my tribe as I have a lot of projects coming up. So if you guys are here, let's connect. In the meantime, I'll see you guys in the next pick a card reading or the next video I have to release. I'm out. See ya.